Hey everybody, welcome back to Outfits Garage. It's Russell here. We are, I say we, me. Uh, I got up a little early this morning and uh, <clears throat> planning on going to old number one speedway in Harrisburg tonight. Let Matthew make some laps, do a little racing. And uh, <clears throat> but right now, Got some sunny weather, it's clear, nice outside, short sleeve shirts. The temperature shows at 67 degrees. So uh, I'm headed to pick up my little no name nationals build motor. And uh, which, yes, I'll have to build it, but I'll have it. And uh, hopefully, Hopefully it's in decent shape. I'd like to say I'm gonna change the heads on it. I'm gonna put some 300 horse uh, heads on it. And uh, it's a 327 and it come out of a big truck originally. So I'm a figuring that it's a steel crank. Somebody said one time that, that all of them had steel cranks to start with, but uh, somebody clarify me on that. <laughs> I know there was a small journal and a large journal. I believe this is the large journal. Uh, but uh, y'all help me understand if it's a steel crank or not. And uh, of course I haven't looked into it yet, but uh, I'll look into it, pull the pan, check everything. The motor had been refreshed they said the truck probably didn't have 15,000, 20,000 miles on it when they parked it. So, <clears throat> something had happened to the brakes or something and they just parked the truck. The engine was still running great. I had fired the motor up in the truck and uh, didn't have any smoke on it. Uh, sounded good and strong. And uh, so, as long as the motor hadn't deteriorated, uh, over the time of just setting, uh, we should be in good shape, you know, just pull the heads off of it, pull the cam out of it, and uh, uh, swap the camshaft out, put a new, different set of heads, another intake on it. <clears throat> and uh, my old buddy Travis Davis said he thought he might have a 750 gas carburetor that's kind of old, it needs freshened up. And I said, I know how to do that too. So, uh, Anyway, we uh, we may have us a, a motor in the little Outfit Z here before long. So I'm fixing to fire back in there pretty hard on that and see if we can't get that get that thing running. And uh, I'm, I've got my old place I grew up at out out there where my dad's shop was. There was at one time a turbo 350 sitting out there that was a good transmission but uh we'll just have to see if uh if it's still out there it should be i can't remember if i had already got it or not but anyway one way or the other it's i've got to have a transmission I'd rather have a 400 but those are getting harder to find i've got a power glide but it's uh it needs rebuilt uh, and y'all know what I'm trying to do I'm trying to do this thing on a budget so uh, and I thank the guys with, at the transmission shop they've helped me out a ton uh, Archie and Sons Garage which it's Archie's Archie's Garage now Mr. Archie Senior passed away not too long ago last year last year great man I, I always enjoyed visiting with him and uh, uh, a matter of fact, I went and preached his funeral. So, but uh, his his family still running that garage, and uh, I'm gonna pull in here at the Burger King, set for just a second. I'm gonna get me one of them sausage egg and cheese croissants with a coffee, and uh, once I get that, I'm gonna head on down the road, and. Uh, I'll catch back up with y'all here after a while, and uh, we'll see what we can get into. Y'all just stay tuned. I'll be right back with you. 
Alright guys, <clears throat> I'm back on the road. We are uh, headed to go pick up at 327 again. Uh, many of you may be wondering, I was talking about how I fired it up and all that stuff before. Uh, the backstory on this is, is I bought an old 65 Chevrolet two-ton. It's been uh, several years back. And uh, it had uh, been setting for quite a while. And they said the motor was real good in it. No cab was good on it. Had a good 65 Chevy cab. I got the title and everything with it. Anyway, <coughs> All it needed was some brake work, and I got to checking in on brake work after I got the truck. And I said, well, this might need to go on down the road to somebody else. So Anyway, so I pulled the motor out of it. I had fired the motor up, pulled the motor out of it, the transmission and all that stuff. Had one of the old big, heavy-duty four-speed transmission. Put the place on the side for the PTO. And had the big bell housing, 14-inch clutch all that and uh, anyway what I did is I pulled that motor out and uh, I got in a bind and needed a little bit of money one time that was something sitting there that I could liquidate and so I turned it <clears throat> and uh, my brother-in-law bought it he's had, he's had it set ever since so he's not done anything with it I asked him here a while back if he, if he, uh, I, he might have brought it up to me about that 327. I can't remember. But uh, one of the two. Anyway, I wound up striking a deal on it and got the, got it back. And uh, so we're going to go over there and pick that up this morning and uh, see if we can get the Outfit Z back in the shop this week. And uh, start back in on it. Start in on the on this 327 build. So I'm gonna have to make this a two-part deal because I'm already running about eight minutes. So this will be part one of going picking up the Outfit Z 327. So I'll have to come back with you on a later episode. Be tomorrow maybe, and uh, just check in be watching and we'll bring part two to you but right now we're headed down the freeway heading to a little town called bald knob arkansas many of you may have heard of it many of you probably went through it if you went through arkansas so anyway y'all uh like subscribe comment we're going to get to that no-name nationals one way or the other. I might just have to go watch, but but uh, we're, we're, we've paid our registration, so we need your help getting to, to, uh, to uh, 300 more subscribers and have 500 all together so we can get locked in. We can go make a pass in Sykes to Missouri come the end of September, 1st of November. So y'all help us out. Like, share, subscribe this, and uh, we'll be back with you with the rest of the 1965 327 that's going to get built and put in the old the outfit Z. It's start to call it the old Z but uh, could call it the OG OZ but I kind of like the outfit Z so uh, anyway Russell here saying God bless you keep a hammering